Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about zodiac or astrological sign compatibility between Aries and Scorpio. And yes, it does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Now, th these are in conjunct by signs, so they are, I see them as generally incompatible. I mean, as far as if there's, if it's a romantic sexual relationship, the sparks can really fly because they're both ruled by Mars, of course, and you could have a very strong, heated, uh, passionate sex between these two people because of the strong uh, Mars influence. However, this also can indicate an, an acrimonious, uh, maybe a, a situation sometimes or, or relationship, whether it's platonic or romantic sexual, and I'm not saying necessarily f as far as a um, physical um, combativeness or anything, but you can, it can be rather, it, it, this combination I see can be rather disputatious because they are both ruled uh, by Mars. I think Aries, when I see Aries, Aries is a little bit more provoked and more outspoken and will speak his or her mind to the Scorpio very readily. Now the Scorpio generally is going to, whether it's Sun, Moon or Ascendant, uh, may suppress or control their emotions a little bit, but then if they let it build up, then they could really uh, say something uh, very strong and, and maybe very, of course, very negative to, to the Aries person. The thing about this combination though, is that what I think is interesting is that Aries is very direct, forthright, and straightforward. And say a Scorpio person really sees deep into others and can really be, have very penetrating insight and really be able to, to detect subterfuge and duplicity. So on the positive side, uh, the Aries can be very open and honest with Scorpio and really it probably won't uh, really hide much or if anything from the Scorpio uh, person. Now, on the negative side of with Scorpio, Scorpio in, in its worst expression, manifestation, what have you, could be somewhat uh, controlling and even manipulative. And in that, this is the, the thing. And Aries is not one to really have anyone dictate the course of action who because Aries likes to likes their freedom and in Scorpio can be it, it really in more cases opposed to the manipulation which I said that's a very uh, very strong uh, were absolute worst expression which I think in most cases will, wouldn't come out but with with the Scorpio thing Scorpio can be about power and control and the Aries person generally may not like that whether this is a platonic or romantic or sexual relationship between these two people and Aries is often about more be extemporizing and being spontaneous they like to be they can be somewhat impetuous and impulsive while Scorpio will, will think a little bit more uh, before acting out and on, on, on act just in general actions and will be a little bit more skeptical in contrast uh, to Aries Scorpio is also of course an introverted sign can be introspective and may like their solitude and, and seclusion while Aries of course being a masculine sign is going to be more outgoing gregarious and likes to be more sociable and likes to go out be adventurous meet new, meet different people you know just have be more sociability so you have uh, you have this uh, situation where you have obviously a conflict in, in many cases between um, the two uh, between these two people and the thing also about it is is that Scorpio uh, has a little bit of a, of a mystery often to him or her it could be very mysterious have a lot of mystique and be rather secretive while Aries is more about letting everything excuse me more out in the open so you have a contrast between the two as far as that goes and i just think it's really it's interesting because even though they're both ruled by mars you could see that there is a strong disparity between uh these two people especially given the fact that you have one that's a masculine or extroverted sign and the other is feminine slash introverted so i think that's where you see a lot of the strong disparity uh between these two people and on the, on the positive side though these these really these two uh people uh can have very strong willpower that 
The Aries is a little bit more, not quite as persistent on average, being the fact that it's not a fixed sign. It's a cardinal sign suggesting action and a lot of activity. But uh, Aries can often start a lot of things simultaneously, but not necessarily finish all of them. Well, Scorpio will, will, might not start as many things, but is more likely to consummate and finish a job. So in that respect, Scorpio can, can help Aries out because Scorpio can help finish the projects that Aries embark on and that Aries may not often finish, but Scorpio can help uh, finish, the, finish the deal. So those are uh, some of the things to look at as far as as far as the compatibility uh, between these two signs. Now, it's also important to look at the aspect, if any, that is made between the Aries and Scorpio person, as this could indicate how these energies, how, how these people may, may have a little bit better compatibility than otherwise indicated, or really might even have, at times, maybe even worse compatibility than otherwise indicated. So anyway, in many cases, uh, the person with the sun, moon, or ascendant in Aries uh, will have an inconjunct aspect to that person that has uh, the sun, moon, or ascendant in Scorpio. Let's say that uh, the, per the Aries person has the sun, moon, or ascendant. Uh, they have it in Aries at three degrees, and the other person has the sun, moon, or ascendant in Scorpio at five degrees. That would form an inconjunct aspect, and this could really only accentuate or intensify uh, the, the adverse inconjunct aspect. It is adverse, at least I see it as, as so, and I, I see it in, in, in really inconjuncts can often be about adjustments. And thing about it is you already basically the inconjunct aspect between these two people will will accentuate really the, the really the the differences and disparity between these two people and it can be a conflict because of that now on the positive side though you can have an out of sign trine aspect take place between uh, the these people's energies now let's say that you have one person that has the sun moon or ascendant in aries at one degree and the other person has the sun moon or ascendant in scorpio at 28 degrees well that would form an out of sign trine aspect which could be a little bit more auspicious and harmonious and you're still going to have the inconjunct by sign they're still going to the energies are still incompatible by sign but you can make with this uh, trine aspect in this example, you could have a little a little better positive blending or integration with, with this, and you may be able to work out the differences a little bit better uh, having if you have this aspect between if these two people have this aspect between each other. Now, also you can have an out of sign opposition to aspect take place between these energies of these people. Now let's say someone has the sun, moon, or ascendant at Aries at 29 degrees, and the other person has the sun, moon, or ascendant in Scorpio at two degrees. Well, that would form an out of sign opposition aspect, which could be adverse and adversarial. And I like, like the aspect suggests that these people can really be in strong opposition on many uh, on and many issues and really it I mean if it's already in conjunct by sign and then if you have the opposition aspect well this could only uh, may exacerbate or intensify that the negative uh, really um, the energy perhaps between uh, these the, or between these two people perhaps as far as this go, this combination would go so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having uh for zodiac sign compatibility between aries and scorpio and stay tuned next time where i'll be dissertating and talking about zodiac sign compatibility between aries and sagittarius two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well